I am doing an everyday makeup routine, get ready with me for a day out in Paris. I've been here with my family. It's what, like just look at how nice it looks on the face. You guys just knew, like you were like, this blush stick is amazing. I'm taking some of this brown shade on this sharper brush and I'm going in the corner. Cause I would sometimes think like, oh my God, if they don't have the harmful ingredients, is it gonna work? But like this one works so well. <laughs> I want to film with the windows open, but it's so loud, Luki, and it's cold. Should I freeze for like the balcony aesthetic? I think I just lost. How do I turn this light on? Okay guys, yeah, so basically this is what's happening. I was gonna do this whole shimmies thing, but like it is too cold for that, okay? We're doing a windows open get ready with me today because like I could film at any time in a closed room, like a typical get ready with me, but like we're in Paris, we have the balcony, like let's just open it up. Let's feel the vibe, let's hear the street sounds, let's hear the kids getting out of school. So first of all, before we begin, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for your support during Vlogmas. Vlogmas was so fun this year and I can't can't wait for next year already like I hope to do every single day next year so yeah well it was just such a fun time and I really can't wait for next year even like it was just so great getting to vlog for you guys all the time and instead of stopping uploading three times a week since vlogmas is over I'm just gonna continue so yeah every Monday Wednesday Friday I will have uploads for you guys I'm so sorry for some of like the rocky upload dates recently when I was traveling to Paris I had some Wi-Fi problems and a bunch of things so it made uploads a little tough but we're here we're here to stay now and today i am doing an everyday makeup routine get ready with me for a day out in paris because i have been getting some requests for this recently and i have changed my makeup routine so much recently so i thought why not let's do it i hope you guys enjoy these street sounds they're just here to stay okay i'm trying to like talk loud but not too loud to disturb the neighbors because they're like Hello, sit there. i have a coffee from ralph's cafe mm. i also have my candle because it's cold. I literally put on a jacket for this. I was like, let me wear my cute little chemise. So cute. Mm -mm. Not happening today. So to the makeup routine, let's just begin. For primer, all I do is I put my moisturizer on. I will link my moisturizer down below. It's just a Vichy Labs moisturizer and it is so good, honestly. It's been having my skin so clear. Like, I love it. It's very light, it's perfect. It's really good for like cold and mild temperatures. Like my skin has just been good. I don't really use any primers just because I haven't found one that can do more than what my moisturizer can. Like the best thing that I can do for my skin before I put makeup on is just moisturize it and hello motorcycle so yeah I basically do that I begin with foundation which is this makeup by Mario foundation in the shade 140 it's their surreal skin foundation and I put it on with this hourglass concealer brush oh my god can I just say my makeup has changed since I've been using this foundation like shout out to Ben for putting me on this foundation this is what my makeup looked like before I was using it and this is what my makeup looked like after I was using it like this little change changed how my face looked so much I didn't realize that like I was still doing my makeup the way that I would do it since like 2017 and the times have changed and like we're not going matte anymore like we're going dewy so I had to like do a shift to use a lighter more dewy foundation and I think it suits my skin a lot more than like a matte look does oh my god it's a little scary doing your makeup when you don't have a full mirror in front of you and when you just have like little mirrors and a viewfinder I was gonna do my makeup in the bathroom and then I was like, no, I need the window. I need the balcony. It's the vibe. So yeah, we're here. Just a little more, a little more foundation. So yeah, basically I arrived back in Paris. I've been here with my family. We've been here for like, I think 10, 11 days now. And it has been so lovely. We've been having so much fun and it's just been like such a good quality time. Honestly, I've been loving it so much. Like it's literally been a dream. While I'm here, I'm definitely, the shift that I'm making this week though, if you guys haven't been watching my recent vlogs, check them out because you can see like what my everyday life here is like. But definitely my goal this week with like my life here is um, I'm gonna be here for a month by the way. And then I'm gonna go back to LA and then I might go to New York and I might tr start traveling all around Europe for all the different fashion weeks. But basically while I'm here for a month, this week I wanna start implementing like yoga, like hot yoga, Pilates into my routine. I wanna like sign up 
for a French class so I can get like a lot more advanced with my grammar. I want to even like sign up for dance classes out here. Like I just want to start like filling my schedule up more with different things. And honestly, all those things like dance and all that and French classes, like I would so rather do that in France than like anywhere else. Cause like even with dance, like I would rather dance to like French music than American music. So like this is just like the perfect place for me to do that right now. So I definitely want to get started on that. It literally a dream being here. Like I'm just so happy. My sleeping routine has honestly been really good. I've been falling asleep at like 9 p.m. every single night. Like I don't know how this is possible. 9 p.m. and I've been waking up at like 5 in the morning. <laughs> it's wild. I'm not used to that. Like I haven't had that sleeping schedule for like a really long time and it honestly feels really good and I was just thinking like you know what since I am waking up this early like I should take advantage of it with like filling my mornings up because in LA like I was just starting to lose motivation like I was still working and all that but I was just really losing motivation with like getting up in the mornings and stuff I would kind of just like always get what I had to get done in my day and I didn't care if I woke up at like 12 or 2 p.m. to do it I didn't even care you know I was just like losing motivation for small things because I was really bored and now that I'm here I'm like I'm up at 5 in the morning I'm ready to go I want to get through my day I want to have fun I want to go downstairs I want to drink coffee what's next okay now that the foundation is complete look at it it looks like so natural and dewy oh my god there's a car passing I'm not gonna know till after this if like the car passing has been detrimental to my audio the foundation is finished it's so glowy, so dewy. Honestly, I feel like it looks so natural. The next product that I use is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer, and I love this. It's so natural. It's so hydrating. I love for my products to be hydrating because if they are not hydrating, they just turn out cakey in my opinion. Like, that's how it is on my skin. And I do not want a product to be, like, cakey. I'd rather be dewy than cakey any day. I love blending with the Beauty Blender. It's just, like, the best. As you can see, I just put it under my eyes. I put a little bit up here and then I choose little spots that have pimples or anything I want to cover. I don't really have a lot of that these days, so I just mainly do the under eyes and up here, just some like, not even highlighting spots. I just feel like they're like spots I'm used to doing my concealer. And then I also take my beauty blender and I go over my eyes because I like to start to create like a natural eyeshadow. And it's also a good base for the shadows that I'm going to put on soon. I feel like the camera is kind of too low. I'm raising the bar. I'm raising the cam. Oh my god, that's so much better. I was like slouching before. I noticed myself going like this to show you guys my face. And like, this is much better. Way, way, way better. So now that all of that is blended, like just look at how nice it looks on the face honestly this is such a good combination i will have both of these products linked down below if you want to know my concealer shade it is 3n i think i am like pretty neutral on the face so these are both good shades for me and if i ever start to like steer away from these shades i literally go get a tan like simple as that and then my next step in my makeup routine is my blush and i use this liquid blush or stick blush from nude sticks and it's in the shade naughty and spice i love this so much like I love this. I literally put this in one of my recent videos and I like link all my stuff down below now Like if you guys want any products, you could check out the links I literally like saw this like blush stick went crazy in the links Like I was like what like you guys just knew like you were like this blush stick is amazing So about the blush, I don't just put my blush here I take it and I go across my nose because I just like to give my face more color. I used to literally only put blush right here, but now I'm like, we're dragging this everywhere. I might look crazy now, but it does not look crazy once I blend it. I take my beauty blender and here we go. We're gonna blend it. The first time like this was tried on me, I was freaking out. I was like, why would you do this? Why are you putting blush on my nose? Why are you putting it across my face? You're gonna make me look sunburnt. And then I really grew to love it. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. Blair, do I look like a gato? Huh? Do I look like a gato? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Like, do I look cakey? No. <laughs> see, it's, it looks good. It's sister approved. Mmm, see? It looks so good. Literally blended so well. It's good to just take time to like blend well. That's a really important- Oh my god, I almost spilled my coffee. That's a really important part of my routine. And then, what do I do next? I take my press powder and I don't put this everywhere, okay? I think I definitely need to get a new brush specifically for this, but for now, I use this brush. I take a little bit 
I dust it off. I make sure there's only like a little bit on here and I go under the eye. This concealer has been better for me than other concealers. I really need to set in my under eyes just because they crease like crazy. So it's nice for me to just like go in a little bit with this. Oh my God, see my under eyes were already creasing on me. I also have like a wrinkle up here that I just noticed. And every time I do my makeup, it creases in there and I'm like, ah! So I don't know what to do. Like I might try one of those like natural Botox remedies where they like make the mixture of aloe vera and a bunch of things and it like makes their face stick up like this. I might do that on my forehead because like you can see this line, you can see it and it's so annoying. And then I also, I don't really need to do this much during the winter, but I still do. I go in the corners of my nose because it tends to get a little oily there. Up here, I just go a little bit all around and the parts of my face that would get oilier or they would move and then like let me just do a little bit more and then that part is done setting is finished and then it's time for contour and let me say i love this contour brush from sephora it's the 93 contour brush oh my god it's so amazing like contour is not the same without it i take these two shades right here and i go in the hollows of my cheeks not too much just very natural and then i go in the chin this is one of my favorite parts of my makeup routine. As you can see, like, this is literally the last step on my base. As you can see, I'm very minimal with the makeup I do on my face. I don't try to go for a no makeup look. I guess it just happens because I just don't like being cakey. Like, even when people, I don't even like to, like, highlight that much, like, do all that kind of stuff just because I like to accentuate, like, my natural features and kind of let them, like, glow on their own. Like, I don't even do lighter shades here, darker shades here. Like, I don't like a super cakey kind of look if you know what I mean. I like to be as close to natural as I can be. I just feel like it suits me more. Like even when I get my makeup done by makeup artists, it's fun sometimes, but like the ones who do my makeup crazy and super contoured and like you could see all the lines, like I don't like it. It never makes me feel fully confident because I feel like a like, I don't know, like a brat stall and not in a good way. So I just like to be like simple. Like look at that natural contour. I don't even need a mirror to do it at this point. Like I know my face so well. Like look at that. I'll take you off the tripod for a sec. I'll show you with the natural light. Like, I feel like my face is not very cakey. And now, what's next? What's next? I guess next I will get into my eyes. I have so many eye products here. Like, I have Polite Society right here. I have YSL. I have more YSL. I have ColourPop, like Sephora. Like, I literally, like, I have so much. Oh my god. I think I'm gonna do... Oh, I also, okay, let me show you what I also love to do. I love to begin my eyeshadow by taking my contour kit and taking the shades that I use to contour my face and putting them in like the crease. So we're gonna start with that. I feel like it gives the most natural look. And as a Persian, like I feel like I already have a pretty natural eyeshadow. Like I just have it. I have like the contoured eyes without even putting makeup on. So it's nice to really accentuate the natural parts more. I literally just go in the crease, I start here, I go in the crease, go up, take it in, same on this side, start in the crease, in the corner, outer corner, go up, take it into the crease. I'm gonna take more of that. And then from here, I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to, what do I want to do? I have like all these different palettes right here. Mm. I love all the holiday shades. Oh my god, wait, just to satisfy you guys, I should do this. Mmm, how fresh. Okay, I'm gonna take this shade right here in the YSL palette in the shade 200, and I'm going to go take that, and I'm going to put it on the lower part of my lid and closer to the inner corner. Same with the other side. I feel like I have such an odd way of doing eyeshadow, but it's just like, it's what works for me. <laughs> like, I don't know if I use all the proper brushes for everything, but like, it's just, it's what makes me happy. And then I want to go darker in the corner just because like, I am going to want more of a nighttime look for dinner tonight. And I don't know if I'm going to do my makeup again for dinner. I'm taking some of this brown shade on this sharper brush and I'm going in the corner and I am just like, making a statement with that okay you see i'm gonna be doing it on the other side as well 
making a statement and I'm gonna take it across the lash line. Oh wait, wait, that was too much. Okay, okay, okay. You didn't see that. And now I'm going to take this blending brush and I'm gonna blend. I'm kind of just freestyling right now. That's kind of what I do every day when I do my shadow. Like I just freestyle and I kind of see what I like. I don't really like full winged liners anymore. So if I want to do a winged liner, I kind of do something like this. And then I just like blend it out so it's soft, but it also has that liner effect. I sometimes also do waterline on my eyes, but I don't know if I'm going to do it today. It's not exactly my everyday, but like I kind of want to do it today. Like why not? We'll do it. It's kind of like made the side of the outer corner of my eyes like darker, which I like a lot. And then because we went for a little bit of a darker look, I am going to take my waterline liner. Okay, if you do any waterline liner, this is the best in the business, okay? Sephora collection, big pencil in the shade 17 black. It is the best. It is so thick. It glides on. It does not come off. Like it does not spread everywhere. Like this is amazing. And it's so easy to put on. Boom. <sighs> uh, I'm like, oh. Which side do you guys like more? Waterline, no waterline, no waterline, no waterline. I'm kind of like getting waterline today. I feel like it's just that extra touch. Oh, oh my God, uh, it's a little difficult sometimes. Wee! all done. The trauma is over. Love that. Okay, now let me show you what I do for mascara, okay? So I've been through so many mascaras recently. I try so many. The best mascara is from Sweet Beauty and it's their Pro Lash Lift Mascara. Let me show you this wand. It's so unique. It is so thin and you have to make sure to use only this front side with bristles because if you don't, it like clumps the lashes together with this like, what do you call it? Solid end. It literally just lengthens. It doesn't clump. It just does what it needs to do and it makes your lashes so long. I apologize for any like bus noises. I think the trash truck is here. The Pooh Bell truck has made it today. Oh my god. Look what I've done. This is just an everyday occurrence. It's okay. I just like wipe it. Oh my god. Just look at that. Just look here. It's so lengthening. It's unbelievable. Oh my god. Did I just brush my eyelid? love this and then now for the other side also sweet beauty has um a lash serum and it's been growing my lashes so much i've had other lash serums that are really good that grow your lashes but the issue is that they have a lot of ingredients that like shrink your eyelids or do weird things and i'm proud to say like i've seen results with the sweet beauty lash serum and my lashes have gotten so much longer in only a few days and it's not one of those that has harmful ingredients because i would sometimes think like oh my god if they don't have the harmful ingredients is it gonna work but like this one works so well oh. all the links for these will be below so it's very easy for you guys to find if you want to try any of these products it's literally the day after christmas right now blair and i had a very chill christmas like because we were away from home and like our family would celebrate christmas more when we were younger but we don't really celebrate it that much anymore just because like we don't have religious obligation to celebrate it my mom would do it more for us when we were young for like presents and things like that so now that we're getting a little older we just like try to go on a vacation for christmas or something oh my god look at these lashes they look so good. Uh -huh. I love them. I love these lashes. I'm gonna brush my hair out. I tried to give myself a blowout before this. I had to buy a new blow dryer here, like a new blowout brush. I can't like bring my blowout brushes from America because anything that like makes heat will literally like start spitting out fire. It happened to me before when I didn't know. I was like blowing out my hair and obviously like literally fire was spitting out and I was like, what is this? What has happened? So yeah, I had to buy a new blowout brush and like the only one at the store nearby, Loki works really slow. So I was in the mirror like blowing out my hair for an hour and it was, it still wasn't done. So I kind of stopped before it was fully finished. <laughs> Okay, that is basically it for the base, for the eyes. Now it is time for the lips. So I'm gonna go wash off the makeup off my lips and off my eyebrows because sometimes like foundation gets on here. Just so you know, I don't do anything to my eyebrows. Like I just wax them. I naturally have thick brows. Like I may have been made fun of as a child for having thick brows, but like 
Look at me now. I don't have to fill them in. Your time comes, ladies. Okay, so I'm so happy with the makeup. Wait, do I need to blend a little bit? I caught it in the corner. I'm just gonna blend a little bit here because I got mascara all over this. Okay, now I'm gonna put on lipstick. This is from Tom Ford. This is one of their liquid lipsticks. The Liquid Lip Lux Matte in the shade Burnt Peach. I love this. J'adore. I can't get enough of this. I've been wearing this every single day since I got my hands on it. If I am not wearing a red lip, I am wearing this. But the thing is, the secret to this is you have to like, once you take your applicator out, you have to wipe all the excess product off because if you put too much on, it is too much. You have to put the smallest bit on. This color just suits me so well. I love it. And with that, the makeup is finished. Oh my God, I love it. I'm gonna give you guys another look at it from more of a natural light kind of point of view. This is the look. It's dewy, it's glowy, it's not cakey. This is what the eyes look like. It's natural, but it's not like no makeup, no makeup. I just love this look so much. Yeah, comment down below if you guys wanna see more makeup videos from me. If you wanna see like a hair routine of how I do my hair these days or anything, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And um, don't forget to check out my other social medias. So you could check out what I'm doing on a daily basis, my Instagram, my TikTok, all of it. And also all these products are linked down below. A truck is passing. I love you so much and I will see you soon with a new video I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday around 3 p.m. Los Angeles time. Mwah. I love you.